is one of the easiest video editors I've seen. Everything out on it to see if you like it. If you are looking for something free, I'll put links to other tutorials I have on uh, free video editors. But if you don't mind paying a little bit, this is a great one to use. Extremely easy and can give you great results for many things from doing personal videos or uploading to YouTube. So this tutorial will go through the basics of using Filmora 9. I'll timestamp everything down below so you can jump around to different parts. And so just take a look at the description for those. And plus, I'll add the link to Filmora down below too. So you can go to the site and check it out. So let's get started on this tutorial today uh, with Filmora 9. So I'm just going to start right away opening up Filmora 9. And you can see I'll be working out of this video folder with video assets and media assets that I have down below here. When Filmora opens up, it will prompt you to create a new project or it will also show you uh, a list of different ones that you have saved before. So like for this one, I could open this up or you could open other projects by looking. I'm gonna just hit new project for the example today. You can see how Filmora 9 just pops open. Uh, right away, uh, before I go on, I'm using Windows 10 today, but if you're uh, on other operating systems such as Mac, Filmora 9 will also work. I'm going to import my uh, my media right away. So just by clicking on this one, it's going to open up to a folder uh, that I can find. So I know in this case, I'm going to be on my desktop and I should have a Filmora folder right there. I could bring one media, uh, one video in at a time and hit open and you can see how it goes in here. Or I could bring multiple ones. So if I right click now and go to uh, view, I could go to, oops, sorry, <laughs> import, and I could bring more in so I could select multiple ones and hit open. And another way I could do it, it would be go to file and you can see under the uh, all the file menus, all the different things. So do check out all the different options you have up there too. But import media and let's say I wanted to bring in the rest of these uh, so you can see all the different ones I brought in. To take a quick look, notice that the icon in the top right hand corner, this shows that it's video. This one shows that it's an image, and this one shows that it is audio. I can take a different uh, look at this. If I didn't want these thumbnails, large thumbnails, I can click here and go to a different view. Let's say I wanted a list view, just with the names and the size of everything, or I could switch to a different view with the thumbnail size. For the tutorial today, I'm gonna be using the large thumbnail view. Now that I've got everything in, uh, I always like to save things right away as you start, like as I start from the very beginning. So just go up here, file, save project. And in this, you can see I have example video here. So I'm just gonna call this uh, tutorial here and go ahead and hit save. And then as I go along and work on it, I'll just be able to save the project as I uh, go through it. So just in case something crashes on you, uh, you can be backed up that way. Now, I want to bring things quickly down to my timeline. Filmora makes it very easy to do this. If I just hover over, I can hit the plus right away and it's going to bring it down. It's saying that this isn't matching the, the settings and I'm just going to say match to media on this one. And you can see it got brought down. In this case here, there's audio underneath it. And if I drag this back, I can hear, it's gonna be a bit of the waves. And I have uh, just the video on top. If you don't want it, you could go ahead and hit delete and it's gone. Uh, the other thing is you can view any of these videos just by double clicking on them without bringing them down to the uh, timeline. So I, you can just view it here if you want to see what each one is. Go ahead and just double click on it and you could listen to the audio doing the same way. Now I'm going to bring this back down. I hit the plus the first time. You could just drag if you wanted to also. So if you want to drag your videos down, you can do this. Uh, and the other thing is you can zoom up and zoom um, out on it depending on how when you're working on it so if you want to say zoom up on a specific part to get closer you can see as i increase it this way or bring it back the other way i can also just say fit to uh, the screen so it's going to go across uh, the timeline in just that simple click to it i can also uh, just drag in here so inside the timeline just click and hold on your mouse and you can see how i can adjust it 
in a hurry like that. So let's bring in some more videos. So I get the one video down below here. Uh, I want to bring in a second one. And notice that where I have the playhead over here at the beginning, if I hit the plus now, that's where the next uh, video gets put into it. So it gets, puts it in front of it. So if I, I'm going to zoom out so you can see more. And I'm going to bring this uh, over to here. And if I hit this next one, you notice there's a gap between it because that's where I had it listed and that's where it's going to go. So you can set up your playhead, then hit the plus, and then it's going to go to that spot. If you wanted to get rid of this gap, all you have to do is just simply drag over and it's going to snap. Uh, snap to it like so. I can bring in uh, multiple things too so if I wanted to <laughs> video I'm going to bring these three things in at once I'm going to drag them down and you see there's the image and then there's the other video and the audio here so if I play it like so so if you did want to bring everything down at once uh, it's very easy to do just by selecting them now that you've brought things down you can move things around very quickly. <laughs> Order, just select it and grab it and drag it and you can move things around to get in the exact order that you want you can create new tracks very easy uh, just drag things up uh, it actually already created the one when I brought in the other video but if I wanted another third track you can see it creates them right on the side here so if you do like working in the multiple tracks and uh, keeping sort of your videos uh, that's the way I like to do it but uh, you can just drag them up and it will automatically create or you can hit the uh, plus here and you'll see the option add video track <laughs> so into this and just start sorting things out on your timeline so let's start some basic editing here I'm gonna go ahead and bring one of the videos uh, this one I'm just gonna hit the plus and bring it 